Hello everyone. So in this video, I will be talking about combo box in Power Apps. How you can use combo box and what are its various features. So I will be talking about what is a combo box. So a combo box basically can be considered as a list box only, which looks like a drop down with multi select options. So basically, you can select multiple options or multiple values in a combo box as compared to a simple drop down but please remember it still can be considered as a drop down with multi select option second not only you can bind an array of strings as an options to the combo box but at the same time you can bind the items of a collection or a table in a combo box the third thing that a combo box can have multiple layouts in power apps and the last but not the least is that the items are searchable in a combo box. So these are the main things which I am going to showcase you today in this video. So let's get this in action and see this in action. So I am in my Power Apps uh, environment and this is the you can say the intro screen. So let's start with the combo box demo. Just now what we have understood about the combo box. So we will go one by one with all these points. So I'm adding a new screen uh, as always. So I'm adding a blank screen. The blank screen is getting added. It has been added. Let's rename this screen. So rename is SRC underscore combo box. All right. So this is the screen which I will be using for this particular video of combo box and I will be showcasing various features and functionality which you can use in a combo box. So without any further delay, let's add the combo box. All right. Okay. So as I mentioned earlier that a combo box is just like a drop down. Okay. So as the moment you added the combo box on your screen power app screen it asked for the data source we will come to this later in this video but let's talk about the point by point which we studied about the combo box that how it acts like a drop down okay with multi select option so let's say this is a uh, combo box consider this is a uh, combo box which i have added now since the items it is a drop down as we mentioned it is a drop down so i can add a simple array of strings as the items and it should work. So what I'm doing is, let's say uh, east, simple string values I'm going to add, west, north, and south, any random values. And let's add one more value, test. Great. Okay. Now, ideally, these all values should work in the combo box. So let's run this and see this in action. Great. So as you can see, the combo box is working like a drop down only. And here you can select west, you can select north. So multi select option is there. That is the beauty of a combo box. So first point we have covered in this video today that combo box is a drop down. It's just like a list box or a drop down where you have the facility to select multiple options. So uh, in this particular, let's close this in this particular video, in this particular demo, what I've shown you that this is a drop down and I have added just hard coded some values. Okay. So here we have covered the first point that it looks like a drop down with multi select option. Great. Now the second point that you can bind the items to a collection or a table. So let me add one more uh, combo box. Let's add one more combo box on the screen. All right. So this is my second combo box and this combo box I'm going to uh, rename. Let's say combo box underscore collection data. Great. So what I'm going to show you now that we have another combo box and now we are going to bind some collection data to this combo box, okay? Which is our second point of this video today. So what I'm going to do, I have a collection already 
prepared and i will create the collection and i will also show you that how you can create a collection and can use it throughout all the screens in power apps okay so i have already created some json like structure this is a, a simple collection which i have created a json structure clear collect and collect that i can tell you later but as of now just for the high level understanding you can consider collect and clear collect the basic difference is the clear collect if there is a, a collection which is available it will again create the collection for you with all the json values okay that is clear collect we are trying to create a collection here the collection name is users info and these are the various properties or attributes of my json first name last name age and country so let's copy this i am copying this again coming back to the power apps environment so what i am going to do is see this is my intro screen okay and if i run this if i click on this uh, i get navigated to another screen okay which is my welcome screen now what i want that the moment any user comes to my app he or she will click on this icon which will be navigated to the welcome screen and on the welcome screen i want whenever user lands up whenever this screen is open my collection gets created okay so let's do it i am on the welcome screen and there is a property of every screen which says on visible okay so on visible i am just pasting that particular json which i have created so the moment the moment this screen will be visible the collection will be created and what will be the collection name yes you guessed it right it's users info the users info collection will be created the moment the users get navigated to this particular welcome screen so basically i am repeating once again i have two screens intro screen and the welcome screen when my app runs the user lands to this intro screen okay when someone clicks on it it lands to the welcome screen correct so what i have done is that when anyone lands to this welcome screen on on visible property i am creating a collection okay and the collection name is you can see the collection collection name will be users info all right so let's see this in action okay so let's navigate to the intro screen let's click here and now i have been navigated to the welcome screen and it is visible so which means our collection should have been created now okay with me following with me great so now we can see also that if the collection has been created or not so you can see here the collection has been created with the name user info and we have all the values age country first name and so on so now this user info collection can be used in any screen in any of your power apps screen in this project okay great now let's come to our original discussion which is the combo box so we added another combo box and now this combo box will be expecting some data or a data source so i will be giving a collection which has been created now you can see the intelligence and the data source is showing me this collection earlier it was not showing okay so that's great so in the items i just want to use users info okay users info collection i want to use great so let's run this uh, app and let's see this in action great it is showing me the country okay you remember in our uh, json there were four attributes first name last name age and country and by default as of now this particular app is showing me combo in the combo box only the country no problem let's do it so let's come to our third point now of the ppt that it can have multiple layouts right you remember so we have completed the first point we have seen that combo box it's just like a drop down with multi select option second you can bind any collection or a table as the items to the combo box now we will see that how we can have multiple layouts for the combo box so if you select this combo box okay there is a property called fields and there is something called edit when you go to edit you can see there are layouts you can have single layout 
you can have double layout and you can have a person layout also in the person layout it will allow you to show the image of the user or image as well okay and in the single layout you see the primary text it is showing as country and if i select double layout it will give me the option to select the primary text and the secondary text so let's do it primary text i want to show as the first name and secondary text i want to show as the last name okay so this is the setting which I have done. So let's run this. Now, if I check my combo box, you see it is showing me the first name and the last name of the user and I can select multiple users here and in the selection, the first name will be shown. This is the beauty or the power of the combo box. So till here, what we have seen is that it can have multiple layouts. Now the last, last part of this video that items can be searched this is very simple and you already know this that if you go to again fields and add it there is a search field as of now you can search based on the country let's do it based on the first name okay and now see this in action so if i go to this combo box okay and i search for harry now you can see i can have the data harry and this is my search keyword or search text so that is how you can use the combo box and you can use these various features of the combo box which we have which we have seen in this video thank you